You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, Aaron Cleary at assholeconsulted.com. Go there if you have questions. We're still in Vegas, and it's rainy out and crappy. So what better time than to do asshole consulting? Uh, hello, Captain. Huge fan of your work. Wanted to get your take on my situation. I graduated from school about two years ago. If I majored in a useless degree in communications, unfortunately, I have a small amount of student debt. Well, fortunately, I have a small amount of student debt, but I still wish I was more realistic with my choice. Oh, come on. Don't you know that they all told you any degree is a good degree and it's just to get your foot in the door and that you can't put a price on education? All right. Da, 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 da. Uh, I know some of my job prospects with my major are very low, and so I decided to learn programming languages and skills. Good man or woman, what are you? I can't tell from your email. Good thing. You're a good, good thing. Uh, I've been at it for a year and have really good knowledge of front-end web development and JavaScript programming. I'm currently learning server-side languages. At the moment, I currently work full-time for an employer services firm that represents our clients when the their former employees seek unemployment benefits. Based on your knowledge of the programming field, what further steps do you recommend I take in order to advance? Your time is greatly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, so I asked if you're doing anything work-wise. No, well, no, I don't do work. Get experience. <clears throat> Go work in IT. I don't care even if you have to do it for free, man. Um, but it would be good if you start getting contract work and you actually start developing some websites uh, you can always go ahead and look up what the highest paying certi certification is, what the most in-demand certification is. By the way, I will be having um, a buddy of mine write an article exactly detailing what is going to be in demand for 2017 in the realm of computer programming languages, certifications. And y'all motherfuckers better be happy because I had to listen to this guy. Well, I you in a while. Well, you say it's not that simple. And I'm like, grab my mic. Yes, it fucking is, you goddamn IT nerd. Just tell people what the fuck to study. But aside from that, of picking up other certifications, you do need to start getting some real world work experience because anyone, myself included, I actually have a couple IT certifications, but it's because they're the low ranked, anyone could get them. Uh, just because I went and took like a year of computer networking school. Uh, that does, and they'd even say, yeah, you could expect to go work for $16 an hour at NerdFest or whatever the fuck. Best Buy's uh, computer repair department was the nerds, the geek squad, and it would be help desk. It wouldn't be anything unless you were like. Actually, so what I would do, go online, see if there's any kind of RFPs, request for proposals, see if there's any kind of contract work. Or say we need someone with JavaScript, we need someone to do web development, da, 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 anything. Help out your buddies with some IT projects and start wrenching on those cars. You know, it's like, well, I read a book, I watched a YouTube tutorial on. On how to fix a car. Well, did you fix the fucking car? Because it's a little bit different. And you're like, oh, how the fuck these goddamn nerds over in Detroit? Oh, we put the spark plugs underneath the engine. I see. I see. What was it? A Dodge Durango? Was it a Dodge Durango? They put the fucking battery underneath the passenger seat. Yeah, like you fucking assholes. You fucking goddamn it. That's the shit that you got to do. So certainly keep doing what you're doing, learning the programming languages, learning whatever, get whatever certifications you want, but you got to start working and you got to put it on your resume. So if, because they're going to have the choice, someone who has certifications and claims they know how to program Perl or JavaScript or someone who actually has done it and then you got a portfolio. So start putting together a portfolio, start you know, here's my, here's links to my work. Here's what I've done. Here's some examples. And that is, that's the next step that, that you got to do. So yeah, keep getting other certifications, may pick up another language, whatever is pertinent, you know, you're working on server side, but start working, start, start actually putting together some things so you can point to and say, look, see here, I've done this and, and I'm not just some fucking theoretician that has a certification. So, all right. Best of luck. I hope that helps. Toodles.